Don't you love how it looks like I have no hair? Don't worry, my hair is still there at the top of my head. Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a video where I'm going to eat my words a little bit. Today we are going to be talking about the new fall 2015 shades and the supposed reformulation of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Now before we get into this review video, if you guys haven't seen my original Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick review video, because I did do a full in-depth review video on when these first released, I will be sure to put a link to that in the description box below. I highly recommend you guys check out that video first because that is a video that I still agree on on the entire range of Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Today we are going to be talking about specifically the new shades that she released for fall 2015. Anastasia released 10 new shades. I have nine of them to show you guys. I bought these with my own money. I picked them up at my local Macy's store. If you have a Macy's with an impulse beauty section in it, you can find these liquid lipsticks there. If you don't have a Macy's impulse store near you, you can also find these liquid lipsticks on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. These retail for $20 a piece, which is right in line with any high-end liquid lipstick. Now to give you guys a Cliff Notes version of what I thought of the original line of Anastasia liquid lipsticks, I did not like them. I thought they were incredibly inconsistent color to color. A lot of the colors settled into my lip line. Once I heard that Anastasia was reformulating these and so many of you guys requested me to kind of update a review and see if they're any better. To be honest, I wasn't expecting these to be any better. I went in with extremely low expectations because I am a huge, huge skeptic when it comes to the world of YouTube and Instagram. I'm not gonna lie, my eyebrows did raise quite a bit when all of those people raved and raved and raved about this improved formula and said how much better it was than the original formula and how much it's improved and it's leaps and bounds above the original. I'm over here thinking, didn't you say that the original formula was like perfect and the best liquid lipstick formula you'd ever tried in your life, you wouldn't change a thing? How is this one better than perfect? Does that even make sense? So me being a complete skeptic, yet being a liquid lipstick fiend, I purchased some of them and I tried them out and I will tell you with my honest opinion, me purchasing the products myself, they are much, much better than the original formula. These have more of a thick, creamy, moussey feel on the lips and when they dry down, they do not dry down completely. They can still get on your teeth, they can still bleed outside the lip line, they can still transfer and smudge. You can also feel them a lot more on the lips. They do have a little bit of a heavier consistency, a thicker feel, and they do remain tacky, so they never completely dry down matte. They don't cake as badly as the first ones. They don't flake at all. These are not sheer or streaky like the original original formula. These are way better. Before I talk a little bit more about these liquid lipsticks, I'm just going to jump into individual lip swatches and a review on all nine shades that I have from the new reformulated liquid lipsticks. So let's jump into it. The first shade we have on my lips is called Blush. And this one, I was actually surprised I liked it on me. This was one of the last ones I picked up because I thought it was going to be too light. And while it is a medium bright pink, it still goes on a little bit more with some deepness. So it still works on a tan skin. Sorbet is a pretty bright neon, almost neon, but still has a little bit of a pastel toned, corally pink color. It's beautiful. I actually really like this one. I will say this one is probably the one out of all nine that I have that has the trickiest formula because while this one isn't as bad as one of the original Anastasia liquid lipsticks, it still can be a touch patchy. Sepia is beautiful. If you guys like this grayish, like, you know, the color that makes your lips look dead, 
you will like this. It's actually really flattering for it being a gray lipstick. Dusty Rose is probably the hardest color to find right now. It's the one that's been like on trend. And this one I didn't actually think would work for my skin, but it does. It's a perfect dusty rose color it's not too light for me because it doesn't have a lot of white in it veronica is one i would say is just a couple steps up from dusty rose this one is just a little bit darker and deeper super super wearable i think this one would be on all skin tones i love it on me this is probably going to be one of my everyday type of lip colors trust issues is one that looks totally different in different lightings. It even looks much different on the lips than it does in the tube. You see on the tube, it looks lighter and more red. And on the lips, it's almost like a deep bruised plum color. It's really pretty, really unique of a color. Sugar Plum is beautiful. This is a gorgeous hot pink but it's not super vibrant and it has a blue reflect in it, which is pretty visible. Seraphine is the perfect neutral red. This red doesn't lean too blue or too warm. It's kind of just the perfect neutral muted red color. And the last shade we have, which is definitely the most unique shade, this one is called Pink. And this is a bright royal blue with a ton of metallic shimmer in it. Incredibly unique. I don't have a lip color like this in my entire collection, but I will say that this is the worst formula out of all of them in terms of pigmentation. This one definitely needed two layers to be opaque. I have two complete layers on my mouth right now, but I mean, it still looks beautiful. Once you get it on, it's a beautiful color. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys and you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up this video if you did. The one shade from the collection that I do not have is called Midnight and it is just a black shade. And I do have a couple of other black liquid lipsticks including my favorite Kat Von D formula. So I don't see me getting that one, but that one is a limited edition color. So if you want it, I would recommend picking it up sooner rather than later. Speaking of limited edition, I believe the majority of these are permanent, but there are a couple that I showed you that are limited edition, and the ones that are limited edition will be written as such in the description box below. I don't know how limited edition is limited edition, because you know how like drugstore makeup and like MAC limited edition products are like run, go get them now because they won't be available tomorrow. I don't think these are that limited edition, but I would say don't wait like a couple months. Now I know you guys already know what these look like in the packaging, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on the actual packaging, but one thing I do wanna note that I did not note in my original review because this hadn't happened at that time, is that when you put these in a makeup bag or once you continue to open and close the tube a lot, this little etching here with these infinity signs does start rubbing off and smudging around. It just kind of makes the product look a little worn and torn. And I'm already getting some serious smudging issues here. And that's really unfortunate since I've literally only had this liquid lipstick for like a week and a half. As far as the colors I could recommend, to be honest, I think they're all beautiful in their own right. I personally don't really feel like I love any more than the others. I think it's all about personal preference. It's up to you if you would wear any of these colors because these are definitely fall colors. They're all kind of muted. There's a lot of the dusty neutral colors, which I know are really popular right now. So my overall thoughts on the reformulation, do I think these are better than the original? Absolutely, heck yes. Are these my favorite liquid lipsticks on the market? No, I still think the Kat Von D lasts infinitely longer on me. I can get about six to eight hours of wear on most of these if I'm not eating or drinking a lot. If I'm eating full meals, these can wear away a little bit quicker. These also have an interesting sort of scent. They're almost cupcake-y, but they're incredibly muted of a cupcake. It's almost like a cupcake mixed with a little bit of chemicals. It's kind of a weird scent. It's not super offensive and you can't smell it once it's on your mouth. So that's pretty much it. If you guys are in the market for a liquid lipstick formula that isn't super drying, isn't super matte, 
is a little bit more high maintenance than the long, long wearing liquid lipsticks, but one that still leaves your slightly drier lips feeling moist and not feeling parched, you will probably enjoy this formula. Thank you guys so much for watching this review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not already because I do a lot of these lip swatch videos. And if you're a lip product junkie, you need to subscribe. I will catch you guys in my next video on Monday. I'll see you then. Bye. And the most praise across the board. This is the 35O palette so that I wear when I know I need a good workhorse lipstick. I need something easy to reapply 